It's about to get real right now. It's about to get really real. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. This has been long overdue. I'm gonna meet the parents. That flight was pure chaos. We left an hour after we were supposed to because of a life vest situation. And then when we finally landed, an hour after we were originally supposed to land, not only do I get a text from Ruby that our main flight for tonight has been canceled because of weather, we're also just sitting there on the runway. People are gonna like miss their connecting flights. So we're starting off on a great foot. Um, I'm about to see Ruby right now at baggage claim, and I can't wait to just hug her. We are gonna just end up staying at the TWA hotel where we were originally just gonna go for drinks. Now we're gonna stay the night and we have another flight out to Maine tomorrow. <sighs> she snuck up on me. <laughs> Look at her face. Look how she is. She's tying your big fluffy jacket. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. We're gonna take a walk back into yesteryear. <laughs> Here's the hotel, you can see it right there. The TWA hotel was originally a flight center that opened in the 60s, but it closed in 2001 and now it's forever trapped in time. So another fun mistake, um, I took somebody else's base back. So if you have base, make sure to check those tags because this is a very popular bag. I've seen it actually other times. Heading back to exchange it and then hopefully be only five minutes late for a dinner reservation. to wake up to this. Wow. We had to take some time to explore the hotel, of course. And after checking out the pool, we ended up finding a little plane called Connie, who was grounded and turned into a little cocktail bar. There were so many period piece rooms to explore, including this twister room. Ruby said the halls reminded her of The Shining. Am I blocking the guy? Where am I blocking? Now you're here. Okay. Next, we are headed to the movies to finally go see Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid. I've seen it twice already. I've been dying for her to see it. Twice? Yeah, I've seen it twice. So I feel like it's really draws parallels to mine and Ruby's story, so I've been really excited for her to see it. We're gonna see it in 3D too. Y'all, the pool deck was so cool, the water was so warm, and you could actually watch planes launch from JFK. Ruby has been the best social, <laughs> the best content boyfriend ever. <laughs> you look so cute, baby. I really put her through it this morning already. We did not regret staying at the hotel. We had never experienced a pool quite like this, and we were gonna miss all the cute old-timey music that played non-stop. So we are getting ready to check out of this beautiful place, and um, we've got ourselves another flight, so we are going to be, <laughs> we're gonna be headed to Jersey for our next flight, and we'll be flying to Maine out of Newark. Ruby found a one way there. So we're gonna get ready to go. Not so fun fact, Ruby is prone to car sickness, so giving her little scratches always helps a bit. What did you find, babes? I was trying to get gas X, but I ended up with 
So are we doing those tonight? Yeah. What are the purple things? Is that, is that for gas? No. Grape citrus immunity boosters. No, good. We just ran into her Uncle Peter. And so we're currently waiting for our flight right now. I'm so excited because it's our first flight ever together. Mm -hmm. We've been able to go to the gate before together, but that was as far as we got. And now it's only an hour. We're going to be in a plane. We're going to go up. They're going to give us a cookie and then we're going to go back down. It's like we're going to the sky to get a cookie. That yeah. makes you really happy. Go to the sky to get a cookie. Get in the sky. Manifest. Ruby also says English. manifest in the sky because it's closer to magic. Shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah. to the loft apartments um this place is super cute it smells really nice so we get to stay here three days so cute something that i haven't mentioned yet is on this trip we're here in maine because ruby's twin yes ruby has a twin is getting married which also means that i'm meeting ruby's entire family all in one on this trip. I have yet to meet them. So um, right now we're taking a walk through the town. Ruby needs a belt because she forgot one. We're gonna buy that um, and get Cameron and Sophie, her sister and new brother-in-law, um, a little gift card to one of their favorite fish markets. And then we have pre-wedding sunset sale tonight. And that's where I'll be meeting the family. So wish me luck. What do we think of Ruby's new sweater? Brings out her eyes, right? Y'all, I'm loving this atmosphere right now. It's so cute. Have you? No, 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 no. Oh. Unless you want to. All right, I just pour it in. Pour it in. <laughs> All of it. Oh yeah, the whole thing. And then mix it around. Mix it around. Get it under. <laughs> All right, take a nice big bite. Okay. With a Ooh, nice this chunk. Is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. With with a cracker. And a, yeah, and a chunk of clam. I don't know what the clam is. Just okay. take a bite. It's a, it's a little hot. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> oh baby. This is clam chowder. That's yummy. Wait for it. <laughs> was pleasantly surprised with how gay sprinkled this town was, but we had to stop for ice cream. I just got their butter beer and honey wildflower flavor. Oh, that's the honey one. That's really good. It's like sticky. I, I love sticky ice cream. That's really good too. Whoa, it's like it's like an elite root beer float. Definitely butter beer for sure. Oh, okay. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't follow me. Had to stop at the fish market for the gift card and oh boy. Okay, right now we are rushing to the boat so we're sure that we're on time. I'm, it's about to get real right now. It's about to get really real. <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm excited. This has been long overdue. So I'm gonna meet the parents. So I obviously didn't film much at this point, but just know it went very well. I spent the majority of the time talking to Ruby's 90 year old Gammy. And next, it was time to do the pre-wedding drinks and friend meetup. I can tell myself that I'm gonna get drunk, and I can actually. <laughs> 
No? I think I was most nervous meeting your mom. She was, was the first person she waddled all she waddled over to us. She did. She didn't waddle. She doesn't waddle. But she kinda like She seems trotted, a little nervous. Trotted too. over. No, she wasn't. She wasn't? She her priority was to make you feel comfortable. She gave you a hug before she gave me a hug. Yeah. We just what? got more ice cream. This is our second dose of ice cream. And now we're going back home. Maybe he's no Romeo. But he's my love and one man so oh. And we're gonna get in bed, get in the shower, get cozy. Shower then bed, not bed then shower. And get a good night's rest so we can have a fun day in the morning. Anything left to say, babes? <laughs> Thank you for meeting my family. Oh, honey. Thanks for bringing me to them. Mm -hmm. Good night. So I'm still floored that the weather here is nicer than in California. Mm -hmm. Weather in New York is nicer than California. These are truly the end times. But right now we are a little dressed up because we are getting ready to go to Sophie's bridal shower today. I wanted to find some flowers to take, but we can't seem to find like a flower shop open anywhere. So figure it out. I'll figure it out. I feel tired. Look at how I look. I look tired. Even though we got like nine hours of sleep last night. That's okay. probably why. So Ruby is getting ready to go to the rehearsal. And then we have rehearsal dinner after. I'm going to stay back. I'm not feeling too good. I just need to rest right now. But today's been good. We went to the bridal shower and had yummy salad bar food. What are you smiling at? Isn't she so cute? I just had to show her out, but that's honestly why I took the camera out. I don't know what I'm talking so about. Go. I just wanted to say my girlfriend's hot. That's all. That's all. <laughs> the rehearsal dinner was incredible. Food was amazing. And the next day, it was time to get on the ferry and head to the island for the wedding. It was super rainy and cold. Your mom. <laughs> On the island, golf carts are the main way of transportation, but this one, of course, had a gay sprinkle. Meet Ruby's family dog, Lucy. I feel like Once the lights aren't wide enough. Yeah. We'll just make them longer. Yeah. <laughs> Spread those things. Spread those things, babes. You're ready to go. I'm ready. Oh, she's crowning. <laughs> TBH, I was on my period and cramping really badly, and Lucy attempted to help me, but... Lucy, no. Before this trip, I had never met an Iggy, but honestly, they're more like cats than dogs, so I approve. My cramps subsided just in the nick of time, and it was time to do my makeup and get ready for the wedding. Gammy actually surprised the couple with this homemade wedding cake. We are back from the wedding. I can't show Ruby, she's indecent. <laughs> she walks into the camera. <laughs> um, it was honestly one of the best weddings I've been to in my entire life. There was just so much love, there was so much beauty. Amazing writers in the family. I tried to just be present. Obviously, I didn't record too much. You saw the footage that I got. I also ended up on stage and sang a little song. I don't know if anyone has footage of that, but that was for Ruby and her twin, Sophie. But anyhow, we're gonna go to bed. There's an after party, but Ruby and I were both like, uh-uh. The rain that we endured, can you see? You can't see the rain, but the rain that we just endured in like a little fishing boat, the waves were like rocking us so we were literally like this. In the, I, in the storm. I was getting ready to swim. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm soaked. I've had three different showers today. Only one of them were inside. The other two were outside from the rain. So <laughs> we're gonna watch a good documentary and go to sleep. I said, oh, because it was supposed to rain Thursday, Friday, it didn't. And then it all came down today. So I was like, the sky was constipated and now it's releasing everything. That's, it rained nonstop today. 
<laughs> I love Ruby so much because she thinks I'm so funny. Because <laughs> she thinks I'm the funniest thing and I'm not. Okay, you guys. We'll check in tomorrow. We have a breakfast tomorrow. Some more wedding nuptials are still happening. I'm telling you, it's it's the Jews. They they know how to, <laughs> they know how to celebrate love, and I love it. Baby, what did I have tonight? My first. What was it when everyone was dancing around and they lifted them in the chairs? <laughs> What's that called, baby? Huh? Hora. Hora. I had my first hora tonight. So, all right, you guys. Good night. The last post wedding nuptial was the brunch. We are once again eating <laughs> Mr. Desert Island's ice cream. I got butterbeer again because that's been my favorite. Um, and then I'm gonna try Bay of Figs. But we're just walking around. We're gonna catch the ferry in a little bit and head to Ruby's parents' house again. And we'll be there for the rest of the night till tomorrow. That's right. So look at Ruby and her cute crop. Because it was our last day in Portland, we decided to explore a little bit more before heading back to the island to do even more exploring. The island is so small that you can actually ride it in its entirety on a bike in like an hour and a half. It was really cool to go to Maine at this time because I felt like I was literally in the scene of The Little Mermaid and I couldn't be happier. that hot sailor. <laughs> so I was telling Ruby that I feel really like happy and really safe here and I've never seen so much like condensed pride and allyship in a town ever and who would have thought in a place like Maine like look look there's still in the window right there everywhere In almost every house, you just see this queer support and I don't know, it makes me sad. I wish that everywhere was like this, but hopefully one day. <laughs> one of my favorite all-time things to do is to go to a local ice cream store and get big tons of ice cream and that's white culture <laughs> it's white culture it's a little baby. piece of white culture <laughs> and justice has been soft served <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one right babe <laughs> we've officially entered our old couple era Ruby's in a rocking chair. I've got a blanket on me. I look like I should be knitting. We're sitting on the porch and just gonna relax a little bit. Only in Maine. We've got a goldfish. It's a good choice of snack. What do you think, babe? Some kind of fish. It's Refined, Maine. fellow. We are finally about to hop on our flight back to New York. We're watching an episode of Black Mirror. Um, and our time in Maine is quickly coming to an end. Baby, what was your favorite part? Do you have a highlight? I think when you, when you got on stage and you sang a song mm -hmm. for me and my sister and her husband. Mm -hmm. yeah. My highlight was riding in the golf cart and in the bike around the island with you, watching you giggle and eat ice cream. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Thanks for following us on our Maine trip. We'll see you in the next city. See you, bye, baby. Bye. <laughs>